All right, everybody, thanks for being here. We're, I'm just fiddling with the mic stands because, you know, I'm short. <laughs> Hi, how's everybody doing? Yeah. Woo! Nice to see everybody. Thank you for being here. Um, for, uh, I know many of you, um, and it's, it's exciting to see people, so many new faces, old friends and new. I'm Beth Walton, the Executive Director of Oyster South, and just want to welcome you to our symposium in New Orleans. So thank you all for being here. Um, we've got people from all over the country and all over the world, which is super exciting. So I'm gonna get started um, with our presentation, our opening here. So just wanna welcome everybody again. We've got people from all different countries, like I was saying, New Zealand, one of our presenting sponsors, France, Canada, and all three coasts of the US. This year we're sold out again. We've got 400 people, which is amazing to me. I just, it grows every year. So just thank you everyone for your support. Um, trade show, you all probably saw our vendors and our sponsors as you came in. Make sure to visit them. And the coffee and the snacks are in the back. Uh, drink tickets, just everybody make sure on your lanyards. We don't have the paper tickets, but we've got these cool little clothespins. So these are like gold. So make sure you keep track of those. Um, then uh, the restrooms are in the way back, some of the housekeeping things and the merch table, the check-in are at the front or the back where you kind of came in. So just if anybody has questions, let me know or go back to the check-in area and we can help you for sure. So just to kind of recap a little bit of where we've been, um, you know, and where we currently are, just a really simple graph for you all to see. So the very first symposium, most of you probably know, but for newer people, we alternate between the Gulf Coast and Atlantic Coast. Um, so we kind of go back and forth every year just to kind of spread it out for people's travel. The first year in 2017 was in Auburn, Alabama, and we had about 100 people. And I'm just curious, show of hands of people who are in here right now, who is at the first symposium? All right, awesome. And some of y'all are still here. Who here today, who's Who's, who is it who's here for the first time in New Orleans? Like very first Oyster South. All right, so a bunch of people. Cool, welcome. <laughs> awesome, thank you for being here. That's exciting. So as you all can see, we've been growing like every year. You know, 100, 150 to 250, 300. Gosh, now we're up to 400. So I don't know where we're going next year, but I'm guessing we're gonna have to increase capacity again, which is awesome because that's a testament to you all, to our entire community who's excited and enthused. So thank you for always supporting and coming and being part of this. So what I'd like to ask everybody to do is to take out your phones, because I know everybody's got one, and what you all can do is just scan this QR code uh, for people who have never done this, this is called Mentimeter, and we're just gonna ask you some really basic questions. And what it does is it shows the results instantly up on the screen. So if you don't get this QR code, um, that number on the top, you can enter that, or it says enter the code. So I'm just gonna move it to the next one so you can see. All right, the first one is, what is one thing that you will do to excess while in New Orleans? It's an open-ended, <laughs> Open-ended question. Nothing, oh come on, nothing? Oh, I don't know who put that. <laughs> Lots of eating, drinking, not sleep, all right. Yeah, these are always fun to see what people, <laughs> what people are, are have in mind for their goals for the meeting, all right. All right, we'll give it another couple seconds. All right, I'm gonna to advance to the next. All right, so. Let's see. All right, just let us know what state you're from or a country or a province. Oh, awesome. You know, it, it's interesting. I mean, of course, wherever our host city is, we tend to have a lot of people from that particular state, but I just love seeing everybody from all three coasts and from all over the world. It's a lot of fun for us. But can we see who the top state is? Does it show it or? Okay. And we're gonna share these results, right, later. Yeah, we'll be, be able to share with everyone these results as well. All right, we'll go to the next. What is your role in oyster aquaculture? Um, and you can see we have some kind of preloaded categories, so we're just curious what y'all, each of you do. 
And for the other category, can they put in like what, their cat what they do or is it just other? Okay, well if you fall under other, just put other. Okay, so lots of growers, lots of researchers, awesome. And lots of others. Okay, great. We're gonna go to the next one. Thanks, y'all. Okay, what was the main reason you came to this symposium? Lots of different choices, the science, the discussions. Chuck and tell, I'm here for the happy hour. That's kind of what I'm here for the happy hour. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, you know, we always say this, it's really like an oyster family reunion. Like this is like, it's like the holidays, you know, it's like, this is the one time of year I get to see, we all get to see each other. So this is a lot of fun for us. Great. Give you all maybe one more, one more second or two. Okay, I'll go to the next one. Okay, so now we're gonna ask a series of questions. I mean, this is just really, rate your knowledge, you know, from not knowing a blessed thing to you're an expert. So these are the different panel discussions and some of the topics we're gonna discuss. So go ahead and just, it's a little slider. Rate your knowledge about each of these things on a scale of one to 10. So hopefully by the end of the meeting, we'll see everybody's knowledge increase. All right, give everybody a couple more seconds. Okay. Next up, just to give you a visual, if you see these people um, around, this is our Oyster South Board of Directors. Some people have these little ribbons and you'll see they say Board of Director on it. So just go ahead and introduce yourself and just say hello and just ask them you know, anything that you want at all. So we're just really grateful to them. Um, if, if our board is in here, are you all here? Can you raise your hands? Anybody who's on the board, please? Awesome. Thank you all for serving and volunteering and just contributing so much to the community. We're grateful. I mean, we couldn't do this without their support. And in addition to our board of directors, we also have our Marine Advisory Board Advisory Committee. Um, and if y'all can raise your hands too, our Marine Advisory people in the room. These are our Sea Grant and Marine Extension people. Oh, I'm not on, I'm raising my hand, sorry. I'm not on that. <laughs> um, and they play a vital role as well, um, being the bridge between industry and the scientific community. So thank you all for your continued support and service. And of course, thank you to our generous sponsors. I mean, many of them are in our trade show area. Um, season of life, I'm gonna have to put on my glasses to read this. So I'm just gonna go and um, read down this list. Just thank you. Actually, you know what? Y'all gonna have to put up with me, taking these off and putting them on. Um, thank you to our presenting sponsors. This is the first time we've done that this year. I just really wanna give a special acknowledgement to them, to Blue Oyster Environmental and Hooper's Island Oyster Company and to Flip Farm. Um, each of them is also sponsoring one of the happy hours um, each day. So thank you to them for that. Um, we have all different levels of sponsorship, but the next folks, um, it's Mississippi Department of Marine Resources, Palacios Marine Agricultural Research, and then we have um, Give Us a Dozen sponsors, so uh, American Complete Oyster Farming Systems, Cypress Point Oysters, Ocean Farmer, the South Atlantic Sea Grant Consortia, all these different programs, Oyster Seed Holdings, let's see, Oyster Resource and Recovery Centers, Submerge, and finally, all our half a dozen sponsors, um, UNCW Shellfish Hatchery, Sea Grant Texas, Plowshe and Carr, The Oyster Bed, University of Southern Miss, uh, Rattlesnake Cove Oysters, Florida Oyster Company, Water Street Seafood, Admiral Shellfish, Restore the Mississippi Delta, Inland Seafoods, and our in-kind sponsors, our awesome caterers, Elysian Events, and also for the folks who made it to the reception last night at Sidecar, a patio and oyster bar. So thank you all to them uh, for helping to help us put this on for y'all and to be here. One thing I did wanna remind folks of uh, for our growers and our chefs, uh, one of the programs we do is called Peer to Peer. And please uh, apply for this. This is uh, travel expenses up to $1,000 for Oyster South member chefs and farmers to travel to a meeting or to visit with another chef or farmer and to learn from them and come back and implement that new knowledge in their restaurant or their farm. This could be something like a, a farm visit 
or a conference or anything of that nature. Uh, for more information, you can scan that QR code and it'll take you right to our uh, website. The next review dates are March 15th and May 15th. And if you have any additional questions, I mean, please ask me or any of our board members and they'll be happy to speak with you about that. So just wanted to get that information out there because we, have, we definitely have the funds available. So please take advantage of that, growers and chefs. And of course, we want everybody to learn some stuff and to enjoy themselves at the meeting. It's a great way to talk with and learn from other people who have been in the business for a while. We have a great mixture of people returning and also newer people. So, you know, we love to see that interaction and those conversations happen. Be sure to share stuff on social media. I know you all are because I was up late last night <laughs> putting it on our um, social media feeds. But please tag us at Oyster South. And then the hashtag is at the bottom. Um, so just if you, if you can remember it, that'd be great. Because it's, it's an awesome way for us to capture everything and kind of just have it live on our profile so everyone can see.